Sorry about that. Yeah, just doing a little mountain climbing here in Denver. Uh, Denver actually hosted the convention a hundred years ago. That was actually the first convention, and we're here taking in the scene. It's incredible. 4,000 delegates expected and uh, 15,000 reporters here. Crazy. But uh, let's take a look around. Politics um, is, of course, why everybody's here. And uh, CNN obviously has a humongous presence here, and they've actually uh, taken over this entire building. Not many people know this, but CNN is actually synonymous with great burgers. Take a look at that. I've heard uh, Wolf Blitzer makes a mean garlic fry in there. Of course, one of the amazing things about this convention here in Denver is that the final night is uh, taking place not here, but over there at Invesco Field, 75,000 seat, home of the Denver Broncos. Katie Couric up there, who of course uh, came in earlier today with me through the uh, media entry, but um, I had to hold my own laptop open and she had somebody else holding her laptop for her. So tell a big difference between the two of us right there. So I'm tired and I've grabbed the seat of a delegate from Arizona. And I can tell you from up here, it's really an amazing sight. Uh, they've turned this uh, basketball arena uh, into really almost a, a rock show kind of uh, setting. And there you go, there's the music. As I said, rock show kind of setting. Um, a little cool in the game for you here at the convention. They told me this was gonna be work. I guess not. <laughs> But of course, it's a totally different story down here in the bowels of the Pepsi Arena. Just take a look at some of this wiring. It's crazy and it snakes all the way around the place. And of course, that's responsible for making the whole place light up and look pretty on TV. So that's a wrap here from the uh, convention floor. And um, check back with us often here at the political party. We're going to be following events for you all week long. And um, that's because we are never leaving.